Man, welcome to Square One Kids Church. Man, I'm so excited to see you guys today. We have got a great uh, Kids Church plan for you. We're going to have some music, the so-and-so show, guys. We've got a giveaway at the end. You're not going to want to miss it. Man, I'm glad that you guys have joined us today. But right now, before we get too much further, let's stand up and let's begin this morning worshiping the Lord through song. Hey, Brandon. Oh, hey, hey, John, glad you're here. Did you notice how unseasonably cold it is outside today? Yeah. I'm having to knit a sweater so I won't freeze to death when I leave later. <sighs> Trying to decide if I should change the pattern, you know, like knit one, purl two. <laughs> Saw that on a knitting show once. Yes. Don't know what it means. <laughs> anyway, that's what I'm trying to decide. You know they have a show for everything nowadays. I saw a show the other night about how to cut your cat's hair. Now, I don't have a cat, but I couldn't stop watching it. It was uh, relaxing, I guess. Anyway, what do you think I should do? Knit one, purl two, or keep the pattern the same? <laughs> knit one, purl two. Why don't you take your jacket off? Stay a while. Here, you dropped your glass. I really hate knitting. Hey everybody, I'm Brandon. And I'm John, and welcome to the So-and-So Show. John, why don't you tell the folks at home what we're doing today? Beats me, it's up to you, Brandon. <laughs> Seriously, though. Yeah. Uh, this was your week to plan the guests, so... No, 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 no. It was definitely your week to come up with a game before no, 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 no. No, 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 <laughs> what are we saying no to? I don't remember. Yeah, me either. Okay, so what do you have planned for us today, Brando? Oh, yeah, that's it. What, you really don't have anything planned today? No. Ah. Oh, man. So, uh, oh, you know what? You know what? Never fear. This always works. Oh, okay, go. Do this. 
please welcome to the show someone who knows stuff. Someone who knows stuff. Um, I don't. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I've got it. Let's play a game. All right. You know, believe it or not, there is some preparation that goes into the games that we play. There's usually rules, props. Sometimes it has a name. Let's play. What do we do on the show today? Uh, what do we do on the show today? Now we're just doing what we were already doing. Yeah, but now it's a game. Okay, listen, we're creative guys. We can uh, we can come up with something, I'm sure, if yeah, we put our heads if together. If only we had some sort of contraption with creative ideas on it that we could, you know, use on the show in an emergency situation like this. <sighs> Wait. Hey, you. Yes, you, with the horse head. I is that the wheel of ideas? It's too mean, yes? Yeah. Can we borrow it? All right. Thanks so much. Uh. All right. Our problems are solved, John. You're not even a little curious about. Nay, nay. We got the Wheel of Ideas. The Wheel of Ideas. All right. This game is pretty self explanatory. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, here we go. Oh, where's it gonna land? Where's it gonna land? Make up a story about a dog, a watering can, and an elf. And 10 seconds, go! Uh, 10 seconds, oh, okay. Uh, there was an elf who lived in a watering can, and one day a friendly dog came to say hello, but he accidentally knocked over the watering can with his big wet nose, oh, and the elf got done, mad. done, wow, time's up, a good story. Yeah, I was on the edge of my seat. I wanted to know what, what was gonna happen to that watering can. Okay, my turn, my turn. All right, here we go, ready? Spin it. Bake a pie with the first three ingredients you can think of. Okay, uh, uh, the first three ingredients are pickles, shredded cheese, and curry powder. Oh, you can't bake a pie like that, can you? Of course! Fast forward! Wow. Uh, you want the first bite? Sure. <laughs> uh, time to spin! All right. I'll do it. All right. Get that thing out of here. All right. Ready? Sing a song about the weather. All right. Uh, uh, the weather is really fun when I can see the sun, but when the clouds are out. It makes me want to pout. Oh, that's a nice one. I like the pout part. Oh, yeah. nice. Thank you. Your turn. Go. Okay, here we go. Yep. <laughs> Invent an exercise that works out every muscle in your body. Oh, that should be easy. Challenge accepted. All right. All right, here we go. I need go some space. It. Ready? What about your feet? And your facial muscles. Don't forget your facial muscles. And your tongue. You'll be fully in shape in no time. All right, my turn. Draw a picture with your toes. Can I stop now? No, 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 no. I'm going to draw you. Oh, cool. All right. Hang in there, hang in there. Yeah, you're looking good. Ah, oh, I got a toe cramp. Got a toe cramp. Ow, ow. Ooh. How do you like your portrait? Oh, that's great. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys, what's the story today? Well, it looks like you guys got a great head start on our topic. 
because today we're getting creative. Very cool. Mm. And you know, there's a lot of different ways to be creative. Whoa, like cooking, for example. You see, creativity will come out of everyone differently. Like in music. I love how musicians create so many different types of melodies and play so many different types of instruments. Just music alone has a wide variety of creativity. Sports are creative too. You have to figure out creative ways to work together with your teammates. And then add a little fancy footwork. Woo, and you've got yourself a game. Then there's people who love science and use their creativity to invent things like medicines or cleaning products. Oh, architecture is incredibly creative. You like playing with Legos now, but you could be building skyscrapers someday. Karate! Now those are some creative kicks. Yeah. Artists. Artists use colors to create beautiful pictures that can tell stories and touch people's emotions. It seems like there's no end to people's creativity. You ever wonder why? Oh, wow, back to me again. Let's look at what the Apostle Paul wrote in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. He wrote, we are God's creation. He created us to belong to Christ Jesus. Now we can do good works. Long ago, God prepared those works for us to do. So there is a reason there are so many different ways to be creative. It's because you, me, and everyone you will ever know were created by a very creative God. And we can use our creativity to do good things, to love others, and to point people to Jesus. Pretty cool, huh? Really cool, Kellen. Yeah, this whole time I thought if you wanted to be creative, you had to know how to draw, and I am not good at that. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? Oh, it's John. Yeah, yeah, I, I can see that. Thanks. Thanks. But lucky for you, there are a ton more ways to be creative than just being good at drawing. That's great news. Mm -hmm. You just got to remember that God created us in his image, so it makes sense that some of his creativity is inside of us. That's awesome. Thanks, Kellen. Anytime. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Kellen. This looks nothing like me. No, oh, sure it does. Sure it does. Hey, everybody. It's me, John, and I'm crazy. <laughs> see? It's hard to tell. All right, that. then. Reveal the question. Reveal the question. How are you creative? Oh, OK. Um, I'm creative because I can make people laugh. I can make people laugh. <laughs> and I'm good at making up stories. What about you? Yeah, whether you create something with your hands or your feet or you create solutions to problems in your mind. T talk about it together. How are you creative? And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. OK, make me laugh. Man, God has made you to be creative. God has given each and every single one of you guys different skills and abilities to use for God's kingdom. And Kellen, man, he, he referenced this verse, and I want to talk about this for a minute. It says, for we are his workmanship. And that word workmanship in the Bible, that refers to when God does something himself, God's creative work. When he created Adam and then he took a rib out of Adam and created Eve, that was his workmanship. He is the ultimate creator of all things. And it says we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for what? For good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Man, God's given each and every single one of us different gifts and different abilities to do different things. And God can use you in amazing ways for his kingdom and for his church to magnify him and to take the gospel all over the place. So let's do this real quick. We're going to do an experiment and we're going to look at some different ways God has gifted his people to do ministry for his church. You guys ready? All right, here we go. Whoa, awesome. Man, God has given some of you guys musical abilities. You can play a musical instrument. Something crazy like that, right? Man, God uses people who play instruments to lead worship, to, uh, you know, I've gone to the hospitals before and just played for people who are, who are sick, and it's just been an encouragement to them. And so, man, if you've got the gift of music, that is a special gift that God has given you to use 
for his kingdom. Let's check out and see what else he's got. Oh, man, what is all this stuff? Man, maybe some of you guys are, are like construction people, man. You like to build things and you can fix things. And God's given you the ability to know how things are put together. And you can use that gift to honor the Lord. Man, we, it had to have people build this sanctuary, right? They had to have tools and knowledge and, and understanding to be able to do those things. And God gifts his people with those gifts as well to go and do amazing things for his church, like build church buildings all over the world and build houses for people who maybe they can't afford to build a house or don't have the money or don't have the knowledge to know how to do it. Man, God can use that gift as well. Maybe you're extremely curious and you like to go and dig up things out of the dirt and find what has been hidden in the past. Man, God uses people that, that are archaeologists who go and discover different things the Bible is talking about. A couple of weeks ago, I talked about an archaeologist who believed they found the shipwreck where Paul shipwrecked out in Malta. They found the anchors from that boat. And so God can use people who are curious about the past to learn and prove what the Bible says is true. Man, maybe God has uh, put it on your heart to take the scriptures, take the gospel all over the world, maybe even to Asia, right? Man, God gives certain people with the ability to go and travel to different remote regions of this earth and take the gospel with them. Man, if that's you, you've got a very important mission to take the gospel to people who have never, who may have never heard it before so that they can hear for the very first time about what Jesus has done for them. Maybe you are really good at acting. Ha, Luke, I am your father, right? I don't know what that was. But man, maybe God has gifted you with the ability to act or to sing and to, to bring enjoyment into people's lives and be able to be on stage and, and communicate with people. Uh, I have friends in Hollywood who are actually actors, man, and they have great opportunity to take the gospel uh, into a place that is not known to support the gospel, Hollywood, right? But man, if God's gifted you with that ability, man, you can take the gospel to places and to people that may never enter a church. And so if that's you, man, God's given you a special gift. You need to use it. Man, maybe God's equipped you with sports, man. You love sports. You're really good at sports. This is an awesome putter, by the way. This sucker could really do some damage. Uh, but you may be really good at sports. I think about a guy like Tim Tebow, man, who every chance he gets when he's on, in, on television or he's speaking to a group of guys, he's talking about the Lord and using the gift that God gave him with his ability to play sports to honor the Lord and take the gospel. And so if that's you, use your gift of your ability with sports to honor the Lord and take it and use it to promote the gospel so that people can hear about what Jesus has done for them. Maybe one day you're going to be a firefighter or a policeman or something like that. Man, God gifts his church with all different types of abilities. And no matter where you may find yourself, no matter what you may be doing, wearing silly hats like this, uh, God can use you in amazing ways. And so he's gifted his church and he's got good works that he has planned for you to be able to do and to walk in. So what we need to do as believers is we need to honor the Lord with the gifts that he's given us and think about how we can use those gifts to honor him. Hey, right now, let's stand up again and let's honor the Lord through worship. in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train. Bring it down. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a
a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train. This train. This train. All right, man, I love that song. I hope you guys have had fun today. Um, let's do our drawing before we leave and see who is going to be our winners for today. Let's start with the girls. I think I started with the guys last week. Let's see here. Our winner today is Charlie Hewlett. Charlie, you are our winner today. I will be by your house later to bring you your prize. Let's see who our boy winner is. All right. Ryder Melson. Ryder, you are our winner today. I'll be by your house later uh, this week to bring you your prize. Man, I hope you guys are having a great week. Look forward to when we can all be back together. Hopefully that won't be too much longer. Um, we'll just kind of see what keep, keeps happening with this crazy uh, virus that's been going around. But man, hang in there. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys and we will see you right back here next week.